Question number 8. An arithmetic series has first term a common difference d. Prove that the sum of the n terms of the series is n upon 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. Question number 8, part 1. We need to prove that sum of the n terms of an arithmetic sequence is n upon 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. We know this is the formula to find the sum of n terms of an arithmetic sequence. But in this case, we need to prove that the formula is this using the arithmetic general arithmetic sequence. Okay, let's say we are given the first term is a and the common difference is d. So your sum of n terms will be a first term and your second term. I put a bracket just to differentiate the terms. And your third term, a plus 2d. And fourth term, etc. Your nth term, which is a plus n minus 1 into d. You have n terms, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. n terms. So next time what I am going to do, I am going to flip this series. Flip this series. I put the last term here, a plus n minus 1 into d and my last two last term, that means n minus 1th term will be, you see here, when you take a look at this, your first term is the second term you have 1d, third term you have 2d, fourth term you have 3d, that means 4 minus 1. If you take a look at 10th term you will have 9d. So if you take a look at the nth term n minus 1d. So the previous term, that means n minus 1th term will be, will have a plus n minus 1 minus 1d, which is a plus n minus 2d. I'm not sure whether you understand what I'm talking about. This earlier term, n minus 1th term. So if you take a look at any term, this is the fourth term. Fourth term has 3d. Third term has 2d. That means you take any term, n minus 1th term, it will have n minus 1 minus 1d, which is n minus 2d, etc. I write uh, the la this term will be here, a plus d plus a. This is the same series. The same series with the n terms, I flip the series. Why I am doing that? Just to prove that this is the formula. Now what I am going to what I'm going to do, I am going to add both the series. So when I add these to Sn plus Sn, I write it as 2Sn because we don't know the value of Sn. And I am going to add the corresponding terms. First term, second term, third term, etc. And minus one -th term and nth term. I am going to add them. When you add them, you get 2a plus a, 2a, and plus n minus 1 into d. Plus. Let's move on to next term. a plus a, we add the like term. So a plus a, 2a. You have d plus n minus 2 into d. You have d plus n minus 2 into d. When you simplify this, you get d plus n d minus 2d which is n d minus d, which is n minus 1 into d. So what I am trying to say, the d plus n minus 2 d, you can write it as n minus 1 into d, plus etc. That means this and this is the same. Even you add the n minus 1 term plus this, you will get again 2 a plus n minus 1 into d. When you add the nth term, etc. nth term a plus a 2a plus n minus 1 into d. So what I am trying to say here, all the terms are same. You see first term is same as second term and third term, everything, even the nth term, all are same. So when you add n number of terms, 1, 2, 3, 4, this is the nth term. So you can write it as n into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. That's a summation, 2Sn.
So your Sn, summation of n terms, you bring the 2 here, n upon 2, 2a plus n minus 1 into d. This is how you prove this. Okay, repeat again. Take the sum of n terms using first term as a, a common difference as d. Write the n terms and flip the series. Write the last one as a first, first term and n minus one term here, etc. Second term, first term. Flip it. Then add the corresponding terms. When you add, you will get 2a plus n. All the terms will be 2a plus n minus 1 into d. So how many terms are here? n terms are here. n equal terms. So when you add them, you can write it as n into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. Bring the 2 here. That's it. And the second part of question number 8. A sequence is given by un is 5n plus 3 into minus 1 to the power n. Find the value of u5 and summation n equals 1 to 59 un. You need to find u5. This question has only one mark. So it's easy. Substitute so replace n by 5 here. So u5 is 5 times 5 plus 3 into minus 1 to the power 5. That's it. So which is 25. Minus 1 to the power odd number is minus 1. So minus 3. Which is 22. That's all. This question has one mark. The second one, it has three marks. You need to find the summation of this series un, un from 1 to 59. So when you write this un here, it will become summation n equals 1 to 59 5n plus 3 minus 1 to the power n. This is what we are going to find. You can find this all together or you can split the series into two series. You can split it as summation 5n plus summation 3 minus 1 to the power n, which is the same. Or 5 also a constant. You can take 5 out. You can write it as summation n. Here 3 is a constant which is multiplied by each and every term of the series. So you can take 3 as a common factor minus 1 to the power n. Your limit is n is equal to 1 to 59. 59 n is 1. Now substitute here. n is 1, 2, 3 etc. So you get 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus etc. plus 59 plus 3 into when you substitute n, 1, 2, 3, etc. all the way until 59 here, you get minus 1 to the power 1, which is minus 1. Then minus 1 to the power 2, positive 1. Minus 1 to the power 3, negative 1, etc. Because minus 1 to the power even number will give you a positive 1. Minus 1 to the power odd number is a negative 1. So the last term is minus 1 to the power 59, which is negative 1. That's all. You can just find the solution here. 5 into, apply the formula for sum of n terms in an arithmetic sequence. You know the last term 59, first term 1, common difference is 1. So the formula is n upon 2 into a plus l. First term plus last term. That's the formula. Plus 3 into, here you can see minus 1 plus 1 will be cancelled. The next minus 1 plus 1 will be cancelled. So all the way until minus 1 to the power 58, everything will be cancelled. You will be left with only minus 1. So your answer is 16. 5 times 59. 5 times 59 times 60 upon 2. Minus 3. Use your calculator to find this answer. You can write it as 30 here. Much easier. 8, 8, 4, 7. That's the sum of this series. 8, 8, 4, 7. And this question has 3 marks.